in the previous lecture we are discussing the questions of the three dimension geometry today i am discussing the question of 11 exercise 11.3 and then i will discuss some of the examples and questions of the miscellaneous exercise see the question number 11 of the exercise 11.3 the question says that find the equation of the plane through the intersection of the planes x plus y plus z is equal to 1 and 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 5 which is perpendicular to the plane x minus y plus z is equal to 0 now the given planes are x plus y plus z is equal to 1 or you can write it as x plus y plus z minus 1 is equal to 0 2x plus 3y plus 4z is equal to 5 or you you can say 2x plus 3y plus 4z minus 5 is equal to 0 So equation of plane through intersection of the above planes is given by first plane plus lambda times of the second plane. On arranging the coefficient of x, y, and z in the constant, it becomes one plus two lambda into x, one plus three lambda into y, one plus four lambda into z, and plus minus one minus five lambda equal to zero. Now this plane is perpendicular to the plane x minus y plus z is equal to zero. It is perpendicular to it. Since they are perpendicular to each other, it means the normal vector. to both planes are also perpendicular to each other here the normal vector has the direction ratios 1 plus 2 lambda 1 plus 3 lambda 1 plus 4 lambda whereas here the direction ratios are 1 minus 1 plus 1 so taking the sum of the product of the corresponding direction ratios we get a1 a2 that is 1 plus 2 lambda into 1 1 plus 3 lambda into minus 1 as b1 b2 1 plus 4 lambda into 1 as c1 c2 solving the value of lambda is minus 1 upon 3 placing the value of lambda minus 1 upon 3 in this equation we get the equation of plane that is x plus 0 y minus z plus 2 is equal to 0 so that's the required equation of plane now let us discuss the example 27 of the miscellaneous it is saying that find the equation of plane contains the point 1 minus 1 2 1, and is perpendicular to each of the planes 2x plus 3y minus 2z is equal to 5 and x plus 2y minus 3z is equal to 8 First of all, the plane is passing through the point one minus one and two, so it becomes a x minus x one that is one here. B y minus y one here. Y one is minus one becomes plus one. C z minus z one here. Z one is two is equal to zero. Now this plane is perpendicular to these both planes, so multiplying the corresponding direction ratios here, it becomes two into a, three into b, c into minus two is equal to zero. One into a, two into b minus three into c is equal to zero. means sum of uh, sum of the corresponding direction ratios of the two planes is zero if they are perpendicular to each other so forming these two equation now we solve it writing here a b and c then the coefficient of b here that is 3 2 2 coefficient of c minus 2 minus 3 coefficient of a 2 1 and that for the b is 3 2 so solving it we get the value a upon minus 5 b upon 4 c upon 1 as lambda a becomes minus 5 lambda b as 4 lambda C is lambda, so by first equation of required plane is placing the value of a, b, c, n, first one by value here. So placing the value here, it becomes 5x minus 4y minus z minus 7 is equal to zero. That is the equation of the required plane for us. Question number six of the miscellaneous exercise is the lines. x minus 1 upon minus 3 y minus 2 upon 2k z minus 3 upon 2 and x minus 1 upon 3k y minus 1 upon 1 z minus 6 upon minus 5 since given it is perpendicular to each other these lines are perpendicular to each other we have to find the value of k if the lines are perpendicular then the lines which are parallel to the given line then their direction ratios are product of corresponding direction ratio so their sum is equal to zero Here the direction is, is minus three, two k and two, and here it is three k into one into minus five. So we can take a one a two plus b one b two plus c one c two is equal to zero. Solving the value of k is minus ten upon seven because the lines are perpendicular. If lines are perpendicular, then the direction ratios, product of sum of the direction ratios parallel to the given line, have their sum equal to zero. By this, we have find the value of k as minus ten upon seven. Question number seven. Find the equation of plane passing through one, two, and three. The equation of plane is passing through point one, two, three, and is perpendicular to the plane R dot I plus two J minus five K plus nine is equal to zero. This is the equation of plane given to us. Now in this, it is of the form R dot n vector is equal to 
d here the vector n is i plus 2j minus 5 k vector n means a vector normal to the plane line is perpendicular to the plane since line is perpendicular to plane normal vector is also perpendicular to the plane it means that this normal vector is parallel to this line we have to find the equation of this line now this line passes through say any point 1 2 3 we know that equation of the line passing through the point parallel to a given line is given by r is equal to a plus lambda n here the point a is 1 2 3 it becomes r is equal to 1i plus 2j plus 3k plus lambda n lambda i plus 2j minus 5k that's the required equation of the line after that if we see the question number 11 we have to find the coordinates of the point where the line through 516 and 341 crosses the z x plane so i have made a rough figure here this is a point a say 516 b 341 through which the line is passing intersecting the z x plane at any point c like this plane divides this point line joining ab in the k ratio 1 let line joining point a and b intersect z x plane at point c in the ratio k ratio 1 so coordinate of c by the section formula is given by it is kya hota tha hamare paas it is mx2 plus nx1 upon m plus n mx2 ni k into 3 plus 1 into 5 upon k plus 1 4 into k plus 1 into 1 upon k plus 1 1 into k plus 1 into 6 upon k plus 1 now in the zx explain the coordinate of the y coordinate is 0 so y coordinate is 4k plus 1 upon k plus 1 on solving we get the k value of k as minus 1 upon 4 actually negative value indicates that it is dividing it externally now placing the value of k here we get the coordinate of c as 17 upon 3 0 23 upon 3 in the question number 18 of this miscellaneous saying find the distance of the point minus 1 minus 5 minus 10 from the point of intersection of the line and the plane equation of line given is here R is equal to 2y minus j plus 2k plus lambda 3i plus 4j plus 2k. The equation of plane given to us is R dot i minus j plus k is equal to 5. First of all, we have to find the point in section of plane and line. For this, we have to solve it. So, what we have to do? We have to place the value of R in this equation. That is the value of R from the line in the plane. It is 2y minus j plus 2k plus lambda 3i plus 4j plus 2k dot of i minus j plus k. Now, collecting the terms related with the i, j, and k here, it is 2. Plus three lambda i minus one plus four lambda j two plus two lambda k. We have the dot product with this one. It becomes two plus three lambda into one minus one plus four lambda into minus one two plus two lambda into one. The value equal to five. Solving we get the value of lambda zero. Placing the value of lambda here in the first, we get the r as two y minus j plus two k. That's a point of intersection of the line and the plane. This is the point. Now distance of this point from Point minus one minus five minus ten can be given by the distance formula. X two minus x one whole square plus y two minus y one whole square plus z two minus z one whole square in the square root. We get root one sixty nine. That is the thirteen units. So that's all about this chapter. Try to solve all the questions of the miscellaneous exercise. Okay, revise all your concepts. Uh, prepare all your concepts on one paper and then revise it. Uh, so do all your questions. Thank you.